Last example here in this uh, 1.4 section. Uh, again, I'm trying to simplify this nice little fraction, uh, but what I need to do first is go ahead and write, uh, since my radicand is negative, I'm going to write it in terms of i. So I'm going to simplify my nice little radical here. Uh, what I should get is negative 1 times 25 times 2. So that'll turn out to be 5i square root of 2. At this point in time, what we can do is we can try to simplify our fraction. So to simplify our fraction, what you would do is you would look at these three numbers right here and say, is there a common factor? If there's a common factor to all of them, you can divide them all by the same thing. And it turns out in this one there is a common factor of 5. So when you divide them all by 5, you get negative 5 plus i square root of 2 all over 3. And then again, uh, just a little quick reminder to write that in a complex number if you're really looking to do that. You get negative 5 divided by 3, and then plus square root of 2 divided by 3i. So again, complex number form, and that's the simplified fraction.